Quinnen Williams is having a breakout season in the final year of his rookie contract. He has a career high in PFF grade, pass rush win rate, and pressure rate, and he's on pace for a 3.0% sack rate, which would be the third best among defensive linemen since 2014. Up until this season, Quinnen Williams' career had been somewhat of a disappointment for the number three overall pick. He had never eclipsed 10 sacks or 40 pressures in a season, but along with seemingly every defensive lineman from the 2019 draft class, Quinnen Williams is playing at a much higher level in his contract season. What makes Quinnen Williams such an effective pass rusher is a combination of explosiveness off the line of scrimmage, quick and accurate hands, and always winning the leverage battle. The most commonly used pass rushing move for most defensive linemen, including Quinnen Williams, is the bull rush. He gets his hands inside the shoulders of the offensive lineman, tries to get lower than him, and then just walks him back. Looking at this play, he's matched up with left guard Cole Strange. They're playing with similar pad level, but Quinnen Williams just engages with so much momentum already built up because of how quick his first couple steps were, and Cole Strange doesn't have the play strength to anchor. Quinnen Williams has gotten a lot better this season at keeping his feet moving throughout the entirety of the rush. You can see on this play, Royce Newman sets too wide of a base, and Williams just continuously drives his feet and walks him back into the pocket. The Jets run a lot of stunts and twists on their defensive line, and when you're the penetrator on one of these stunts, meaning you're the first defensive lineman to go through, you're not necessarily trying to cleanly beat an offensive lineman one-on-one. -on -one. His job is to create havoc and disrupt the positioning of the offensive line so the loopers can come free. So right here, he just overpowers the Bengals center, barrels his way to the quarterback. The guard tries to slide over and help, but Quinnen Williams already has this shoulder pressed back, and again, it's just motor and pad level to get through the opening. This play against Cleveland is another example of how dangerous he can be as the penetrator on stunts. Cleveland's center can't fully concentrate on anchoring because he has to be ready for a stunt that comes through the A-gap, and so Williams takes advantage of the indecisiveness that Cleveland's O-line has to play with and overpowers him when he tries to pass off the twist. On top of his bull rush, Quinnen Williams has added the ability to string different pass rushing moves together, and over the course of his career, he's gotten a lot more accurate and violent with his hands. Building off of the bull rush, he likes to use a bull rip move where he lands his punch inside, fakes the power rush, and then rips his inside hand underneath the offensive lineman's arm. So right here, he's matched up with the center, he stands him up, creates the leverage advantage, and then rips through with the inside hand all in one motion. And this may not seem like a lot, but the ability to absorb the recovery from the center and then accelerate to the quarterback that's the reason that he was drafted so highly, and that's also the reason that he's not just getting pressures, he's getting sacks. Having that short area quickness and acceleration plays a huge role in a defensive lineman's ability to finish, and Quinnen Williams does it as well as anyone. Here's another example of the bull rip. Cole Strange is playing with relatively low pad level, so going straight into him with a bull rush is probably not gonna be that effective. But as long as he's established this inside hand placement, he can really go wherever he wants. And again, it's not just executing the move, it's accelerating through the move so that the quarterback doesn't have time to sense the pressure and escape the pocket. On this play against Denver, he gets held by the left guard, but he locks himself to the outside shoulder and just bends directly to the quarterback. Here's one against the Bengals where he misses with his hands. So you can see the first punch, he lands on the helmet and then he tries to replace it, but he lands him on the outside shoulder. At this point in the rush, he doesn't have time to reset his hands again. So he just stabs through with a rip move and gets to the quarterback in time to affect the throw. And then he complements the rip move with a swim move, which is essentially just the inverse. Instead of going under with the inside hand, he goes over. And I think this is a really good pass rushing move set for Quinnen Williams because it allows him to read the offensive lineman's pad level and get into his moves quickly. That's something that's changed from his first few years to this season. He's a lot more decisive getting into his moves and he's taking advantage of his quickness at the point of attack. Quinnen Williams has been a really effective run defender for his entire career. This season, he ranks fourth among defensive linemen in PFF run defense grade. I was really impressed by how proactive he is when he's two gapping. So two gapping is pretty self-explanatory. It just means that a defensive lineman is responsible for two gaps. And so until a running back makes a decision, he's trying to stack the offensive lineman and then shed into whatever gap he picks. But while he's waiting for the back to decide, Quinnen Williams is constantly pushing the blocker into the backfield. He's not content to just hold it a stalemate and get a tackle for zero yards. So right here, you see him controlling the block on Cole Strange from the snap, creates separation with this left arm, and then extends the right arm out to make the tackle. Here's another one against New England. It's outside zone, so Cole Strange is trying to get a reach block. Ideally, he'd be about three yards to the right and a couple yards downfield, but Quinnen Williams is just pressing him into the backfield. And the second the running back gets the ball, he's forced to cut back. So even if he weren't able to climb across and make this tackle, the run was gonna be stopped for no gain. And then because he's so dominant at the point of attack, it gives him a lot of flexibility if he plays it wrong initially. So right here, the running back flashes up to the A gap, Quinnen Williams starts to shade over, and then he bounces outside to the C gap, but Williams has already established so much control over the block that he can shift gaps immediately. 
This time he's on the backside of outside zone. So the left guard's trying to reach him and seal him off so that he can't affect the play. But again, he's quick off the line of scrimmage. You can see how square he is when he engages, hands inside. Even though he's not taking a lateral step towards the flow of the run, he's defeated his block within the first second. So then once he reads the play, he can get into the backfield regardless. And then he doesn't play a ton of nose tackle. He's mostly a three technique for New York, but when he is asked to take on double teams, he's had a lot of success this year. It's great to see Quinnen Williams living up to his draft stock. He's developed into one of the more well-rounded defensive linemen in the NFL. And the 2019 class, which includes Quinnen Williams, Jeffrey Simmons, and Dexter Lawrence, they're about to reset the defensive line market. I think all three are gonna get re-signed by their current teams just because of how difficult it is to find defensive linemen who can consistently affect the quarterback. And I think whoever gets paid most out of that group is gonna come down to who signs their contract last. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any players or teams that you'd like me to cover.